but are we working? I think you can hear us, but I don't know if you can see yeah. us. Oh, there we go. You can see us now. We will be able to imminently. Do, do, do. Hello. Okay, we have a problem. You can't see us. Uh, let's have a single thing. This is an issue, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You should be able to see us. Oh, is that it? No. Oh. Um, so excited tonight. Right, this is a problem. Uh, Do you want to hang up and start again? I'm just going to sit. I think you can hear us, but I'm just going <laughs> to... Sorry, everyone. Tech world issues. Luckily, there's no one on live watching, so okay. Oh, no, oh. You, you can see us. You don't want to check on mine? Well, no, because that's different. Hold on. I know what we do. We do that. We do that. I'm sorry, everyone. We oh, are, yeah, we're live. We're live. We can definitely see. We're just... We're trying to get the tech working. We've got some quite clever stuff, so... Uh, Why do you say clever? Well, you it's clever, it's clever for us. Um, uh, 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 I'm sorry, team. I'm really sorry about this. Normally, we are way quicker. So, um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you can do some talking. <laughs> Firstly, we are drinking a little bit bubbly this evening because we are toasting to our gorgeous little boy, Joseph. We have succeeded in keeping another small human alive for an entire year. Yay. And he's turned one today. So, happy birthday, Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. I think always people... a plus point when you, you don't you know, kill your kids. You no, manage to keep true. them alive for another I year. I wonder if people think I live in this shirt because I've worn it the most recently. It's a pretty cool shirt, though. I, I do like it. I have to say, this was a 40th birthday present from my uh, sister and her other half, etc. And Paula, I know you're not going to watch this, but when I unwrapped the box, I only thought it was okay. And because I had a, a variety of Hawaiian shirts for my birthday. But if I'm really honest, I think it's now my favourite. I really like how absolutely bizarre it is. It's uh, very bizarre. Yeah, and I've checked the manufacturer. The other thing is it's a quality shirt, whereas the rest of my Hawaiian ones are essentially cheap towels. Well, define what quality means. It was expensive compared to the others. Right, that doesn't mean but it's it is quality. it is more of like a cottony, a fine cottony silk. I don't really know. Anyway, basically I love it. That's the point of the story. Right, so we have a watcher. Hi Gary. <laughs> Hello well. Gary. Yes. So what we're gonna do tonight, we've got some cool stuff to do. So we are yeah, we are trialing it with you guys tonight. If it doesn't work, forgive us, we are still in the beta test of it. Mm. But we are sitting tonight in our planning this, session yeah. studio. So there's well, there's a few things, isn't there? So one this is our planning session studio. So for anyone who's joined, I keep looking over there as well. I'm so yeah, sorry. For anyone who's joined the planning sessions, you will recognise this. Mm -hmm. So this is where we film all our planning sessions. We're going to do a lot more of our lives and our outside bride stuff from here. Two, in a change to the advertised uh, um, content tonight, where we talk we're going to do autumnal themes. We're going to do a very small bit on autumnal themes. Mm -hmm. Basically, we've got some bits laying around. We had a really thought, cool day, that's why. Yeah, we had such a cool day. So we took Joseph to celebrate his first birthday to The Showman's Show, Joseph. which is a trade show for outdoor event people. So it is basically infrastructure for outside brides. It was pretty so. cool, if we're honest. So, um, number one, we took both kids. We took um, yeah, Ben, the, the two of the three, not both kids. Yeah. Both, both boys. Both boys. Um, we took them um, because well, it was his birthday. I mean, we go every single year, and unfortunately, it's like, well, no, he's one. Well, we didn't go last year because you I were you just given birth. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a really cool show because not only is it fun, trendy stuff that's coming up and things to look out for next year, it's things from flooring guys to lighting people to mm. big sound stages to um, generators and toilets and all the boring stuff. But then yeah. there are. Citroen H fans and really cool oh, yeah. bars we've got a picture, and We've got surface. a picture of a cool bar. We've got a picture of a cool Citroen so H fan. We're gonna... But the other thing is, sorry, yeah, on, on the theming side, is when we're in the tents looking at stuff and the marquees and the mm. teepees, they then have more cool stuff. And actually, we've got a couple of... I hope it will. I've re long story short, Ben's still awake, so I've had to cobble this together in about four minutes. So I think it will 85% work. But you took a couple of pictures, and I actually um, I spent a bit of time thinking about this. Is this have they have they predicted a next trend mm. in the TP? Um, so we will see. I'm happy to hear what you um, what you all think. I really hope this is working. Um, I'm gonna keep looking. Am I? Let's um, go there. If I wave, will you see me waving? 
Well, I look. That's working. That's, right, that's, that's working. So, so, um, oh, things we saw today. Are we going to go straight into oh, that? Says, um, shall we do this? Yeah. So, I hope that you will continue to hear us talking when we do this. So, if I click this button here, you're now going to see a slideshow of some of the cool stuff we saw at the showman show yes, today. Yes, can I put mine on so I can watch it? Yes. Let me do that. But then you should continue to be able to hear us. Ready? Here goes. Right. Here we go. There's a small delay. So, right. Let's see if there's a so delay. So, this is, uh, we talk about site equip. They do themed toilets. And this is a um, steampunk toilet. And we've got a couple more pictures. Oh, it's working. The text working. Oh, is it working? <laughs> yeah. So, they, they steampunk. So, the men's urinals were beer barrels it was very very cool and um i've got a picture of the inside in a i think each picture is up for about 10 seconds okay. and they are very 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 cool so um definitely worth it's called they're called site equip you know there's no money changing hands here we just we quite like their theme loose we highly recommend them they, yeah they do um potting sheds and beach huts and like hollywood themed ones. themed ones they're really cool yes it hasn't changed the picture hasn't changed it was only meant to be up for 10 seconds let me just see if i can uh i don't think i can manually change it are you all still seeing yeah this? we're still seeing we're still seeing Okay, let me, oh, there we go. They're up for ages. I'm just going to adjust it quickly. So they might be up a bit So quicker. this is a picture coming up now of the, um, what was the urinals, which all oh, it sounds so blinking grim, but these beer barrels were cut into the urinals and they were really, really funky with all the um, Edison bulbs and stuff. Yes. And now we're moving on really quickly. Yeah. Can we say that now? No. For not today. I'm really sorry, everyone. We saw some really good... Um, it was great to be it. Actually, we, it's going to run. So this was really cool. So this was in the roof of a sperry tent in between the two main poles. It was two old-school vintage ladders, bit of wood in the middle, then some, like, Ikea bulbs and some ivy hung over it. So, right, this is the inside of the teepee we saw. I'm I'm not totally brought, brought in to the... Uh, this is now it's really going quick. Too fast. Pause it, right? Right. So we, we went I can't to... pause it. I told you, this is okay. new tech. I haven't learned how to do that yet. I'm literally... Um... So the TP, so going, going back to the picture we saw of the kilner jars, so it was, I found, we thought, a really cool way of putting foliage on your table without taking a lot of space. And they had some massive, like, drink dispenser kilner jar style things filled with water and had fern leaves on the inside with some waterproof LED fairy well, it, lights. Yeah, in theory, most LED fairy lights are waterproof, yeah. in theory. But, yeah, you still so want to check. So you had the... Um, the iridescent kind of fill of the water and the foliage to get that green botanical feel that was very out on trend at the moment, it's definitely going into 2019 with the botanicals. But also you had the um, the refraction of the light with all the fairy lights. So it was really, really pretty. And the photo didn't give it show it just did, but something I might actually trial and do for a video here, actually, because I thought it was really, really clever. You can't see it in that photo very well at all. Well, we've, we've got to talk um, about this photo because of the delay. I'm, guys, I'm so sorry I'm watching this on playback. I hope this works. Um, but the, right. the jar, you took a close-up picture. They're the ladders. Um, black as a theme as well. I've never seen that, but I quite liked it. Um, but we did like those ladders with the lights. And yeah, there's a couple of photos of them. And they were really, really good, actually. Yeah. And, and for the DIY rides in the grooms in the group, definitely something, you know, a bit of Ikea lighting. Yeah. The TP company was really cool. And they, they provided the tablescapes with lots of brights and lots of tissue paper flowers and stuff. But they also had the palm leaf um, plates that we talked about in our eco post a few weeks ago. So it was definitely worth checking them out. Yes. Um, and then there was a range of different mobile bars, which we were blown away with. So there was a Citroen H fan, which they're quite commonplace now, but that was kind of funky. You'll see a picture in a minute. There was a um, shipping container, wasn't there, that had been yeah, converted. Yeah, with that's in there. I kept um, that in. Shipping container that had been converted into like a flap open so you could have the bar area. But they also had created a secondary like, yeah, roof terrace. terrace with it, which was really, really clever. Um, here's some Edison bulbs hanging from a wagon wheel. Just a wagon wheel with some chain on it. Like, so simple. Bit boho, bit steampunk, kind of. Yeah. Sort it's of, a, even just a bit vintage. This is the um, container that we converted with the rooftop bar, which I thought was really, really clever and a really good use of space because for what's a really dull shipping container. This is the um, the ferns You're and the kiln jars, which I quite liked, and the, um, the what, the wine bottle things. 
Demi Johns. Demi Johns. That's Demi the one. I don't think I've said that Here's word. Here's another years. one. So we were <gasps> the tree. The tree. I'm really sorry. I can't pause these. But <laughs> let's just keep going. The tree was really cool. There was a company which was a trailer company, and they... was it an event in a trailer? No, something like that. I'll put. I'll, I'll tag link to it. Yeah, Basically, we'll find them. It's worthwhile. When they'd there. found a way of creating space and foliage and like that grandeur of lots of um lots of is that the end of the photos or turn that off i'll talk about it or should we go back um, to us yeah um they created a, a solution so lots of the, the again this botanicals are really really in and they are getting bigger by the day but all of the really nice hanging botanicals you get which are above lots of trestle tables lots of greenery lots of foliage lots of kind of very um ethereal kind of foresty feel that's quite expensive if you want to kit your entire marquee out that way. So they've created, they're faux flowers, but they are modular trees that go into marquees, basically. Especially mm. if you've got a traditional pole marquee, they work really well because they literally connect together. Best way to say it was like a Christmas tree. Like, you, know, you get a false Christmas tree and you put them together. So they were, it was really quite It came cool. into four parts. And then you stuck the branches, and there was these. Do you want me to try and get the picture? You keep talking. I reckon massive, I can solve massive, this. Massive, like white foliage, and they had loads of different styles. But the way they kept the costs down was because it was modular, and you could deliver them to site for you to put up yourself. They weren't the staff costs in. It was so right. simple. You to keep put talking, together, but I'm you would never know it. from a distance that they were faux flowers. They were really, really, really clever, and I really, really loved them a lot. And I'm going to get the details for them because I thought that was really useful. They, they, they basically they'd seen. Um, Sorry, everyone can see a black screen yeah. at the moment. They'd seen other com companies doing it and um, said, well, actually, there's a definite way we could cut the costs down. And that was just using faux flowers. And you there we go. It looked it. really, really good, didn't it? Yeah. Really, so. really liked it a lot. Um, there was so much we took from today. We Oh, the other thing we saw, we didn't put a photo in, is there were camels. So yes. we've, we've seen lots of weddings in the last year with um, llamas, alpacas. We're taking alpacas to your event and you could take them for walks around the event. There were camels there today. Now, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm actually, and for anyone who knows me, you probably don't believe it. I'm, I'm actually a little bit funny about the use of animals, animals yeah. for events. I like... I even kind of struggle with safari parks and zoos. So just bringing in some animals for my amusement, I'm, I, I do struggle with it. However... However these camels looked fab. They looked, you know, for anyone who's been abroad to a nation where they have camels and they're, they're handcuffed at the ankles, and I know it's an accepted thing and they look a bit more feet and these looked healthy. They, they weren't handcuffed at the ankles. Yeah. They would restrain whatever polite word you want to use. They, they looked well fed. The owners were, you know, looking yeah. after them. And so, you know, if, if you want to go down that world, then I do think this was fab. I, or I can't really see, in my opinion, I mean, it wasn't, it's not a wedding show, don't get it wrong, but I couldn't no. really see a place for when you would have a camel. Well, like, you know how it fits for me? Like, you go to these venues or have a field of alpacas and llamas, or you get these people who bring llamas. I remember a company called Lindy Llama. Mm -hmm. There's a video on YouTube of me trekking with Lindy Llama under pool tourism, if you can be bothered to find it. And, um, and so I know people who bring llamas in, to events so you know you're gonna bring some camels in and i, I kind of get it you know they do do walks if you like i say look i'm not debating the kind of ethicalness of it that's not worth it you know what i mean um but assuming everything's fine with the animals and you want to do it and the animals are loved and looked after then there's nothing kind of wrong with it ultimately the animals are, these camels aren't in the desert they're in england no. so uh you know um by yeah, whatever, whatever, your choice, not ours. What else did we see today that was really cool? Um, I saw some, you know, you know what, I don't normally subscribe to this stuff, but like the snow machines, the bubble machines, uh, and, and I get it, it does work. Um, the Sperry tent, we the, we love it, we think they're That's the most... That's going to bring on to the next, oh, the, stars, the stars of tents we saw today. So... Emily and I don't like saying this too often much, but we, we have definitely predicted a few trends in the year. So two years ago, we were at the Showman's Show and saw the Sperry Ten and went, this is the next big thing. And they are coming in as the next big thing. So this year, obviously, we've talked about geodesic domes or semi we're, we're debating the difference between a semi-geodesic semi and a geodesic. <laughs> so if anyone knows, please let us know. So, um, and what else do we... I did see a stretch tent. So we went into, a, uh, I'm going to do a post on this because we took loads and loads of images today and we saw lots of amazing companies. And Ethics. What, also, hi, Steph. Yeah. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> what I saw today was so many different styles of tent and the actual manufacturers rather than the hire, uh, the people who hire them who get them from manufacturers. So we saw the Sperry tents, which were amazing. And every time we see them, we go, shall we, boy? Yeah, yeah. 
and and in the, it 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 wasn't as expensive as you think. They I were mean, really good, but anyway, that's, yeah, that's by, they're, by they're the bar. Um, but we loved the Sperry Tint, and they were simple, clean lined, beautiful panoramic windows, amazing. Yeah, clean lined, modern, contemporary with traditional. We feel. saw that's a we modern clear span, more pavilion marquee today, which I what I loved about. Oh that, yes, yeah, it was yes. A, it was a. It had obviously all of them had half walls because it was on, a, on an event trade show, but they had the marquee, and then it had a decked area. But the marquee structure came out over it, and it had the clear, solid clear rather yeah. than um, um, uh, uh, yeah. canvas. Yeah. Um, they had a see through a, a roof, solid clear, see through roof, but they were really awesome. And then no walls, no walls. It so was, it was, it was like an outdoor pavilion. covered pavilion. Yeah. But with all the um, chill out furniture out there as well, which I thought was a really good way. I having, have seen that in, the, in anger, so the, to speak. The indoor out in outdoor room. theme yeah. of having the, the marquee, but the flooring continuing out as a decked area, but with a covered clear roof, and it was really really cool. I really liked that a lot. Don't let your marquee company charge you a premium for that. It won't actually <laughs> take them that much. Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing we saw today was a, a company who manufactured stretch tents. Now, the stretch tents are often, you know, they are, well, they, 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 we've never seen this, so we've seen, yeah, sorry. We, yeah. See, we've seen a standard stretch tent, we have the, the canvas in a rectangle with your poles coming in, sort of that 45 degree angles, which is amazing. Sort of Capri marquee -ish. Capri styling. Yeah. But this company showed lots of scale models of all of the different options and shapes and circles and figures of eights and everything you could do with stretch tents. And I took lots of photos of the models because they, it just gave it a completely different aspect of what a stretch, can, stretch tent can do with the space it gives you, but also having such a clear side to have that, did you see the one that had like the arc? There's an arc side and has it such a- I such thought we were talking about the other one, so I'm not gonna join in and I'll read it. Steph's comment was very nice. Carry on. Thank you, Steph. No, that's fine. It, it was absolutely fascinating and suppliers, you should definitely go. Um, Brides and grooms. Go. Well, yeah, you can go. I, I, I think it, you can. It, it's on every single year. Now, obviously, a lot of you're getting married next year, so it won't be so good for you. But you can go as a Joe Public. You don't have to be a supplier or an events person to go. But it really gives you some food for thought of the different types of things you can, because they have every single supplier that under the sun because it's, it's got a lot of B2B. But you can really get, start to see the different types of structures that are out there, and they're yeah. all out there. In, in their full glory, it's not they? a wedding fair, right? Please don't no, think it's, it's a, a wedding, wedding fair. fair. This is people looking to sell twenty thousand pounds worth of tent to a company, right? So there's no point talking about you want to hire something for your wedding. Not, nothing wrong with that, but that's not. But it really you're... gives you scope but, to but know if you what want, you want. Yeah, if you've in the politest way possible, if you've got a huge budget, it's amazing. And if you've got a small to medium budget and you want to go, well, that's cool. Can I create that? What theming is going on? It's also mm. quite cool. Like mm. I say, the ladders with the bulbs um, were, you know, in the Sperry Ten, and the wagon wheel with the bulbs was in the teepee. And we actually spoke to them two years ago, and they told us that they'd made it because they thought it looked really cool, and it looked really cool. So you know, I really liked the wagon one a lot. It was such a simple idea, and it was just a and you could do that in any of your teepee. You could do that yeah. in a market. You could do that hanging from a tree if you really well, wanted to. Well, you know what to. the simplest version is. If you've got some um, like wood, uh, please, I'm not very good at this, some wood about that thick, but about that wide, and then you put a little frame around one side on the inside, like the top, then the hook in each corner and some suspend, and that. suspend that with some rope, and then drill some holes to put the rope through for the yes. wire through for the Edison bolts, and you've made it. Paint the wood, you know, whatever colour you want to make it, and you've made an amazing light piece to go in your tent you know, it is i'd say it's that simple it would take me days but it is that simple it is, isn't it? It is that simple especially if you've got a traditional style tent with poles in the tent if you've got a clear span and an open space it might be a bit tricky to just suspend clear span or open space yeah and actually it wouldn't have to go as well it, no it would look anywhere it would look, right look, anyway, it would look, look like in, in right a clean line modern geodesic dome yes TV, it doesn't matter it would go but again, we'll, we'll post everything after this because it's just, we, we always come back really excited, don't we? Because there's so many little little details. Because, yeah. ah. we, we drive back going, should we bring the bank manager then? <laughs> <laughs> but we're not. We're, we're not. not. Um, other things we did this week. So we had um, a branding shoot yesterday with the lovely um, Amy from The Woman and Walk, who's got some new Bailey photos and so that's our bride photos. Yeah, we, you'll see them on Bailey. If you don't follow us on but we own Bailey Lee Bell Tents as well yeah. for those who only know us in the outside yeah. ride. So go and check out Bailey Lee Bell Tents. And we've got some lovely, we're going to share them this week as well, some lo lovely flat layers of some autumnal, autumnal stuff 
which we've got some stuff down here we've so collected. So, initial, what we were discussing tonight was autumnal theming. Now, we happen to know that not many of you are having your outdoor no. wedding in the autumn, but late September, and to be honest, it's, it's, it's all just gorgeous. I'm going to start with this. I know you've picked that up. Okay. So, this, this is a vase out of our cupboard. These are some fir cones, some sweet chestnuts. Oh, hold on, I can, I can focus this, actually, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it when the tech works. Oh, no, it's so focused on you. And then a leaf and then a flower. And they're fab. We dried them out. They opened Our kids helped us with the foraging. And Obviously not in a vase like that, but um, you could do some lovely tablescapes with those. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we had a bunch of flowers. What are the bowls called? Um, fish bowls. No, 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 no. Fish bowls. There's a no, um, yeah, I know what I know. they're called. Um, Nicola went on a course for them the other week. Terrariums. Terrariums, yes. We picked up some basic flowers the other day, which we got from a, a supermarket, but it was nice to see the different colours that we could get involved. So, yes, go with all tunnels, go with reds and browns and that kind of stuff. But, but we've still got some yellow, pink and yellow some in here. There, yeah. Some, some whites white were really up, cute. A, up a bit, sorry, it's a bit low. Yeah, and, and the jug. See, this is a TK Maxx special. Uh, it is a La Crusade, but it is from TK Maxx. And once again, and then, this is really simple. This is a pumpkin. And I never realised this, like, till we had kids and we went pumpkin picking at the local farm. But pumpkins are about a pound, right? These were 35p <laughs> Oh, 35p, sorry, 35p my bad. 35p for mini pumpkins. Now, this is obviously teaching us, like, because it's Halloween kind of time and it's autumn and you think pumpkins. But some of the nicest things we've seen recently with mini pumpkins, obviously you can get all the different colours in the and oranges swashes. and greens. Yep. But chalk paint on these and get them in... I never knew that. Chalk paint on these, whites, creams off yellows make a really lovely alternative autumn feel but with a lighter feel rather than going down the traditional browns reds and that kind of stuff go with um these kind of things but paint them up white and they are stunning but you still have that feel of autumn mm. and yeah we've just got a squash here we, we like you say these are it's just fruit and veg, um, but in, in but you the colours. But they, cool. they make statements, and you can put a collection well, of even, those on the yeah, table. I even like the idea, I was thinking, that, like, I mean, this is not my thing. This is The Emily. flowers I'm are really dead, by the way. You oh, I'm something. like black and white OCD, so aesthetics is Emily's bag in not our business. But, you know, I'm thinking a couple of these, a few of these scattered around the table, bit of that, bit of that, lovely. You're so not ever talking about <laughs> tracing over again, I ever. Stick, I will stick to generators and marquees, but I'm so they're, sorry. That's it, and of the foraging side, go and get, some, go out and spend an afternoon in the woods, go and collect a bag load of stuff, dry it out at home, paint it up if you want to, leave it natural if you want to, but really, it's so simple to do and so effective. I think we've said Charlotte in this group as well has been doing some amazing things. I was trying to think of them. And um, yeah. you can really get some wow factor pieces. And especially that with, with autumn. Uh, Hannah put a post on our Instagram this week, or oh, today, for a really beautiful hand tied autumnal bouquet. And the colours in that and the amount of foliage in that is really wow. Yes. And I think that offset with, with everything else without the weddings would really, yes. really, really look good. Cool. Um, and the else we well, have to we, say. we haven't had any questions, but Steph, Steph, Steph. Steph but really, this is fascinating. Thank oh, you, thanks. Steph. Um, I've been interested in starting my own venue, so this is great for me for my wedding and for my future. We'll save this post. Perfect. I'll tell you Steph. what, Steph. You, you can be favourite person of the night. <laughs> thanks, Steph. Steph, seriously, we go, we go every single year. So obviously, it's still um, building up. It's on to, tomorrow. It is on tomorrow. If you fancy going to Newbury tomorrow, it is on for another day. If not, and you want to come down with us next year, maybe we could have an outside bride Ooh, field trip. Outside Everyone, bride we, field trip. We could go for lunch and we could go and look at tents and we could talk about things on site together. So not take the boys next year. Not take the boys next well, year. Well, one, one will be in school. school. <laughs> <laughs> Our middle child starts school next year. But I'm really, I, I, I really do can't stress enough. It's so good to see these tents in situ. Rather than going on the on websites and seeing what a sperry tent can look like, Go and stand them on, and I appreciate you can get them at wedding. Not every wedding fair is going to have the tents in situ. You might have your outdoor wedding fair you go to, but you really should go and stand yeah, in these yeah. tents. Well, on that, like just one hint and tip on on tents. Like if you're talking to a company about hiring their tent or equipment, they should be inviting you along to see a setup, whether that's at their base or a Absolutely. setup they're doing. Um, they should be inviting you yeah. along, or we, you should be asking. We always do that with Bailey Bell tents. We often get people going, "Can I see your tents in situ?" And it's quite difficult to, you know, 
to really show off a village and the size and scale of our, our villages unless you see it face to face. You can show it on a video, you can show it on a picture, but really you need to get that wow factor seeing it yeah. in situ. So a, a lot of the time we set up on a Friday before the Saturday wedding or the day before Thursday, Friday, whatever it is, and we all, all, always offer that opportunity, provided the bride and groom at the time don't mind, to come down, see our tents and to get a, a, a feel for what's going on. Most reputable tent companies, like TP companies, Tentario do that, um, Papakata Papa do that. Sorry. They will always say, come down, see us in situ, so you can get an understanding of what you're doing yes. and how far your money's going with how many tents you get. Well, that's it, that's it. Um, right, I I think if it's all right with you, yes. I'm going to draw a line under tonight. Yes. Um, I really enjoyed talking about the showman show because we, we had a fab day, didn't we? And we did take the boys, and normally if we take the kids to work, it ends up being a bright mm -hmm. palaver. But actually, it was fab. Ben had an amazing morning, and Joseph is one, so he was sat. Well, in the it was one of those things. Around. It was like, well, it was his first birthday. We knew we it's a work thing for us. We have to go to these things. We have to be. In, yeah, get, yeah, we want to we want to stay a front of, of so we well, go we, we go every year, and it was his birthday. I was like, well, we can't really give him to childcare on his birthday, so no. let's come along with the family and sort. And, and, and Ben probably learned more than he would at preschool today. He so. saw a gi gigantic triceratops. He today. saw a triceratops walking down An the street. An animatronic, animatronic dinosaur. It was very ve the, the dinosaur was very very cool, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Yes. Okay, guys, thank right. you so much for thank watching. You. Sorry. Thank this is number 40. It's number 40. It's like your this age. Is, oh, <laughs> We've done as many asking experts as I've been years on the planet. Um, thank you for bearing with us. We're not usually, if you're new to our um, Ask an Expert and you're new to the outside bride, we're not usually this clunky in the beginning. It's usually a lot more streamlined. Yes. However, it's really exciting that we've managed to work out the tech and how we can start and a, sharing. And a better quality picture is kind of so why what we're the, doing So what this means is that we can actually start to show mini videos as well. We can show clips from things. We can show photos of things we've seen as well. So... With that in mind, if there's anything you want to see or want to talk about or want to discuss more, please do keep feeding into this group because we can start to tailor these more as more presentations, yes. can't we, yes. to help you guys as and well. And the more we go on, the less I'm going to be doing this, checking what everything's doing. But if yeah. if only, you know what, I'm going to do this. Let me, t I can't take Don't it. do it, don't do it. Oh. I was going to take this picture so everyone can see you. our setup, but then I've realised what's behind it all. <laughs> I, may, I may share this in a moment. <laughs> all right. Okay, right. guys. Well, thank thank you, you so much for watching, and we will see you really soon for number 41. Yay! See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye. We're going to be here for a second. I can't <laughs> work out how to turn it off. Hold on. Um, oh, this is embarrassing. It's a good thing well, to Well, what happened is the, the web browser reloaded during it, and um, it's gone off the page where I control this. So we'll be, we'll be here for a second, but bye. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are you sure? No. Which page is this, Dave? <laughs> We're still here. So, this is really fun. We're going to upload this to YouTube later on. Well, I, can, I, I can't work out how to edit this. Um, hold on. Hold on. Should I sing a song? I think I've just clicked on the button. We have, we're still here. But, um, one second. <laughs> Basically, what I'm learning here is I need a better computer to run this. No, you don't need another Mac. You do not need another Mac. Yeah, it's it's doing something. Right, we're here. Okay, bye everyone. See you later. It was lovely to see you all. See you next time. Bye. bye. <laughs>